Winter Wyvern. EG will just be split pushing bottom with anti mage though. Get the they, they just got, they almost got to force it. Like just go up. That you got the BKB over on the clones. You still got the Aegis you monitor for turn the two minutes. Swindon Melons has a fresh shot off the ring core now completed over on him. Inflict the damage before the wipe is up. So you got mud golems coming. You actually got double sets of mud golems. Technically this could be four Dyer's stuns you're looking at. Or actually fortified. six stuns. They just break free and move attack. forward. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Yeah, Barra Strike. Like, dropping down low, but then again, they could hold him there. They do drop the Winter's Curse over on Clink's Laguna Plate, burning through the Aegis, the Immortal. That's complexity. They back off. They were attempting to TP out, but Aoi lets off the Song of the Siren. Chen, he's still got the Hand of God available here, and who do they really Radiance want to be going on? They're looking for the attack. opening, and it's going to be the Clink's, but the BKB, you're set for up. He's going to get the BKB straight away, and then just run away to safety. Potentially could be sent back while the Annie Mage is doing his work on the bottom lane. Took out the tier 3 tower and can't even cancel the TP out. Fear is the way to safety, but it's the Barret Strike chasing after Clink's real trouble right now, and there it is. Owie will come through for the Riptide kill. And Fear, so much work on the bot lane. That tier 3 tower as well, he's got to be happy. And they look for more, actually. The Chen, Z Freak, not out of home and host. Trying to run back up to the tree line now. He's got no TP scroll, so he's a guaranteed kill here for evil geniuses. I think he, well, that's a good question. They might Actually, feel like they need a pipe to high ground. For now, let's look at the fight. That's going to be Clinks attacking into some mail. Four hits, going to be five to get the kill with the yeah, epic setup from the universe. Random and complexity with the hand of God as well as the men. Repairing so much the damage now. Fear, join the fight. They will be able to curse up on the cliff. They control it perfectly. Universe coming back in for another bar strike, but he's looking for more. Misses on the bar, but Fear still looking for his kills as Song of the Siren will stop this. Actually, allowing the send back. That was Mumienda who got back to base, but Z Bringers Windermelons will not be so lucky. The Mana Void just ripping apart their life. A triple kill for Fear. I think you kind of have to contest because if they if they wait and they give Antimage and Aegis, he's hard enough for them to kill once. Twice is going to be But at the same time, you're about to go into, into like Song of the Siren as well as Enemy Center. Roshan in fact, that's what Aoi does. The the ensure Roshan, the Diego's ball at the hands of Fear at the same time. Mubienda, he hookshot it up so far. He's completely isolated from the rest of his team. He's never fully even get up on the high ground near the tire ranges. Snowball in, they go after Aoi. And the Diego's in Fear, walking down to the middle and bursting him with the Mana Void. It's a double kill for Fear. The Aegis the Immortal may trigger here, but the Clips will end up dying to another triple kill for Fear as EG. They even get the Barret Strike on Fly. He was TPing out the last moment. He'll glimmercate, but this means the Fly can't get back to base, but he can get away with it. Yes, that's the whole point. He can get away with it. Even should they catch him, they still have Cold Brace. They still have Glimmer Capes, Four Staff and Sand King, Song of the, Song of the Siren. Siren. <laughs> I mean, the, it's, uh, the biggest control of all. Top tower is the, under like, one of the calls is even a BKB. The whole power strike from Universe. And True Wars went down, so they score it. But then the curse is over on Queen of Pain. Yours ever into a double life for Grand Fear Cutting. Swing the Melon, it took two hits to kill him off. And this will be EG ravaging complexity. Even with a Sonic Wave, Fear just jumps in deep. But three hits to kill Seabreak. More power strike supports from Universe. TP is making sure that Fear just cannot be touched. He moved back up to play of Jazz Space Gaming. Finish off the rack. While Rumi might be moving back here. Samel not affected by these cogs. Fundamel is back to the front line. But again, Universe, a double forest strike. And, uh, well, they just keep going to work. Where is AM? He has gone for a bit of a wander. He'll come back to the front line. And this is when the game practically ends. Fly is currently hexed up, still fired, and killed off. This is it when Swindabellas dies. It is a full rack. It's mega creeps for evil geniuses here in game number one. But complexity, it's like they're trying to send a message for game number two. We won't give up to the bitter end. Just keep fighting. And then Laguna Blade thinks, well, maybe fighting was not the greatest idea in the world. Fly keeps trying to return out, but with the Eagle Step the up, the Sun will follow in, and Fly locked, Burrow is spiked, and this should be, I guess, Glimmer Caping back past the tier 4 towers and sent back by the Chen. Complexity just won't say die. I think he's just gonna make them right now. <laughs> Force it. Their options are very limited. Got a snowball in Chen aggressively as a distraction. Oh, 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 unusual play. They're all dead. This is gonna yeah. be the fountain dying. Complexity refusing to the bitter evil end geniuses. to submit Henry. to evil geniuses. But the game says it's over. Game number one. I only took roughly two hours, but we do have game number one over with Evil Geniuses. It was a rough start for them, Sid.
Yeah, Complexity's early game strategy just really worked out the way they imagined. Great rotations, good pressure on the map. Then they kind of let go of the pressure a bit, and I think, as we mentioned a couple of times, a big part of it was just their itemization that allowed EG to find some confidence on their end.